Hi everyone, welcome to the CD Cave. I'm Jack Burial. Today I'm back with another video. Uh, I decided to do my 10 favorite concept albums. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, some of the CDs that I've been listening to have been kind of like a concept theme to them. Uh, and so I was thinking maybe I should do a video on that, and I hadn't done a video on that. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, some of the concepts are kind of like a little loose as far as the storyline and stuff. But, but that's okay, it's still a concept album. Um, so I decided to do that. So I hope you stick around for that. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it to help my channel grow. Um, hit that like, uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe some of your favorite uh, concept albums. Um, it wasn't easy uh, to choose 10. Uh, I could have had more, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to stick to 10. Um, because then the concepts can get kind of like, you know, not, not, it's, it's hard to explain. But sometimes, you know, on an album, the concepts are kind of like hit and miss. Uh, I find the, these are pretty close to being uh, real concepts on, uh, on the stories. I'm not going to uh, dissect all the stories on the CDs and stuff, um, make the video way too long. Uh, but I will show my 10. Uh, favorite that I picked out of my collection. Um, uh, to me, they're my favorite concept albums. Yeah. Whether it's because of the music or the story behind it. Uh, so I hope you stick around for that. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit like. Uh, leave a comment down below. I enjoy reading the comments. Uh, maybe even uh, put down some of your favorite concept albums and why, you know. Um, so these, these are my 10. Uh, my first one at uh, number 10 is um, Green Day with American Idiot. Uh, I do like uh, Green Day's music. Um, this is kind of a cool concept too. Uh, but there's some good songs on here. Uh, Jesus of Suburbia is good. Uh, City of the Dam, uh, Deadly Beloved, uh, Holiday, uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good concept. It's a pretty good album. I enjoy it. Um, actually, I think they even made a play for this, if I'm not mistaken, a few years back. So, yeah, American Idiot is my number 10. At number 9 is The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway by Genesis. It's so a double CD. Um, it's a little bit of a harder concept to get into about a kid in New York City and his adventures going to uh, New York City and that. But some good songs on here. The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, Fly in the Windshield, uh, Cuckoo Cocoon's a good song, In the Cage, yeah, The Waiting Room. Yeah, pretty good album. In the Rapids is a good song from 1974. This is the 1994 remastered version. Uh, but uh, it's a decent uh, concept album. Like I say, it's a double CD, so um, it takes a little longer to digest at times, but uh, my number nine. My number eight is uh, Pink Floyd with the Wall. This too is another uh, double album. Kind of a cool concept. Um, good album. Uh, some great songs on here. Uh, Another brick on a wall. Um, you better run. But um, maybe the problem with this uh, concept is it's been overplayed on the radio and people are kind of sick of it. But uh, I still enjoy it. You know, I like songs like Mother. He's really good. Um, yeah. But it's a CD I still enjoy today. Um, Pink Floyd the Wall, yeah, is my number eight. My number seven is uh, Queen Right with uh, Operation Mind Crime. They did do a part two of this, but it didn't really work out that well. I do own it, but not one I listen to very much. This one here is a different story. This is a really good concept, a really good album, great songs. Uh, remember now, Anarchy X, Revolution Calling. Uh, the title track is great. Uh, the Mission, Sweet uh, Sister Mary is a great song. 
in the eyes of a stranger. Yeah, this is definitely a top-notch concept album. Yeah, definitely at uh, their peak here, Operation Mind Crime. Next, I went with uh, Tommy with The Who. It's a classic. Tom, The Who have a couple of uh, concept albums. Uh, this is the one that's my go-to most of the time is this one. Uh, I enjoy the story. I enjoy all the songs on here. It's a Boy is really good. Um, Ice Eyes for the Blind. The Acid Queen. Yeah. Smash the Mirror is also good. Yeah, there's not really any bad songs on here. Pretty much like all the songs on here, but uh, another great concept by a great band, The Who. Next, I went with one I listen to quite frequently because it's my favorite band. Kyoto was here, which is kind of a hit and miss for the band. Uh, probably caused uh, the band to break up early. <clears throat> it's bad timing, I think. Uh, it's, a, it's an album I love. I love the songs on here. Mr. Roboto, Cold War, Dollar to Dead, Heavy Metal Poisoning's great. And it does get through the night. Double Life. Have we been here before? <clears throat> That's from 1983. <clears throat> I think this album just came out at a bad time. and uh, But uh, the idea was there. And uh, it's uh, an album I enjoy to this day. Sticks Kora was here. Next. The Seventh Son of the Seventh Son by Iron Maiden. This too is another great concept album from a great band. I did see them uh, on this tour, I think it was five years ago. Um, when they toured up here and they played in Montreal. And uh, they toured and they played this whole album. Um, they had the stage set up, to, like the icebergs on the cover and that. On the stage was all white and stuff. It was really cool. They played this whole album and... Uh, Plus a lot of their other hits are really good. Uh, Alice Cooper, I uh, backed him up. But this is a great album. Great concept album. Moonchild, Infinity Dreams. Can I Play With Madness? Uh, the Evil That Men Does. Uh, the Clairvoyant. Only the Good Die Young. Yep, from 1988. And love the artwork on this too. It's a great, uh, great album. Next on number three is um, Jethro Tull with Thick As A Brick. Very proggy album, good concept. Uh, still one of my favorite albums to this day. Basically, has two songs, uh, part one and part two. Um, yeah, great album from 1972. Love, love the uh, artwork on this too. That's my number three. Thick as a brick. My number two is Rush, 2112. Concept about the future. Great album. Definitely one of my go to Rush albums. Uh, 2112 uh, has the Overture, Temple of Spherix, Discovery, Presentation, Oracle the Dream, uh, Soliloquy, The Grand Finale, then uh, Side 2 has Patch to Bangkok, The Twilight Zone, Lessons, Tears, and uh, Something for Nothing from uh, 1976. I think I saw Rush, I think it's like four times uh, live. And uh, I seen him perform this whole album uh, in its entirety at uh, one time. And uh, yeah, great, great uh, album. Great concept, 2112. And for my favorite number one concept album, I went with Welcome to My Nightmare by Alice Cooper. Yeah, now one bad thing you could say about this album. It's actually his first solo album, uh, breaking away from the Alice Cooper band. And a great album, uh, Welcome to My Nightmare, Devil's Food, The Black Widow, Some Folks, Only Women Bleed, Department of Youth, Cold Ethel, Years Ago, Stephen, which is uh, what the story is about, is a guy named Stephen, The Awakening, yeah, 1975, great album, one that I listen to uh, on a regular basis, Welcome to My Nightmare is my number one concept album. So there it is, my top... 10 favorite concept albums in my collection anyways. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care of yourselves.